Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Rustam UAV program is something that we all have been waiting to take off full fledged and it has been delayed by quite some time which is concerning for many of us. However, the recent push towards drones development by government seems to be fructifying. In a recent interview with Business World, DRDO chief said that Rustam 2 has achieved flight altitude of 27,500 feet and endurance of 18 hours in a recent trial conducted this month which is close to the target of the UAV. Recently, on Twitter as well, Freaking Beast has shared Tapas UAV flight path from 9th of March. The flight path of UAV can be seen around Chitradurga, Karnataka. The flight path lasted for 6 hours starting from 10 am to 4 pm. The Tapas UAV was expected to undergo user trial this month and this news indicates that the development of UAV is going as expected. Rustam till date has completed more than 110 flights so far and various missions profiles. Last year on 7th November, we have seen a video of test flight of Rustam 2 or Tapas BS201. This was an important development for Tapas program as it has proven two critical technologies which include ATOL or Autonomous Takeoff and Landing and the integration of UAV's flight system with indigenous Gagan satellite. During the flight, Tapas took off on GPS SBAS based auto mode successfully. The GPS aided geo augmented navigation Gagan was utilized for augmenting the accuracy of GPS. During the test, Tapas demonstrated 8 hours of endurance, 250 km of range, and 15,000 flight altitude using Gagan. Rustam 1 has also demonstrated similar capability with 10 hours of endurance and 220 km of range. Now, DRDO's CVRD has also developed an indigenous 180 horsepower diesel turboprop engine for Rustam 2, and we can see it being used in the pictures shared last year. CVRD is also working on a more powerful engine that can deliver 220 horsepower at a service ceiling of 15,000 feet, which will further boost the payload capacity of the drone. At present, Tapas is powered by 280 horsepower engine, but in future, it will be powered by indigenously developed 2 220 horsepower engine. At present, Tapas can carry a payload of around 350 kg, but with the integration of new powerful engines, its payload capacity can be around 700 to 1000 kg. Theoretically, Tapas should be able to carry 8 anti tank guided missiles. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.